What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out another 80s gem. This is Return of the Living Dead. I have personally seen this one. I've seen it many many years ago so I haven't seen it in a long time. Probably a lot that I don't remember. However, Casey hasn't seen it at all and she thought it was a part of like George A. Romero's like movies like Night yeah. of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead. I had to tell her yeah no that's, that's very not right at all. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm assuming zombies obviously. And that's, that's a given. all I really know. It, it, maybe it's kind of comedic. I have no idea. There is a little comedic aspect to it, yes. You know what's funny? Uh, they made a lot of these. I know most people probably remember the first three, and I think I saw the first three. And then they made a fourth one and a fifth one many, many, many years later. Like, I'm talking like 2010s, 2000s at some point in time. And I think those ones are very low budget, or I, if memory serves correct, I'm pretty sure that they were attained, the rights were attained by a maybe sci-fi or one of those like horror channels back in the day and then they made them. And I think they went up to five. I bought them actually. I think I own those movies, but I bought them when like a blockbuster or a Hollywood video was going out of business and they were just like selling out all their DVDs like 10 plus years ago, maybe less. Um, and I, I do have them, but I never had the inkling to go and actually watch them. I think most people think this first one is the, the definitive Return of the Living Dead. However, I really enjoyed the second one. I thought it was pretty funny. The names... <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> okay. The kid's gonna stick with me and then I'll show him the ropes. Okay, you lock up for me before you go. Fourth of July weekend, buddy boy. Gotta move. Fourth of July? It's a summer movie. We got an order here from the St. Louis University Medical School. They want two adult female skeletons with perfect teeth. So they make, like, those model skeletons? I don't think these are models. Oh. Okay. For research purposes? Probably, I don't remember. Because if they were all just made, they would have perfect teeth, right? Yeah. Do these people donate Jane. their bodies to science? Possibly. Good work. We want her to be comfortable. Now help me get her in, grab her legs. You think they would wear gloves? Now spread it around. That's right, you're doing very nice work. What a way to transport real bones. <laughs> Where do you get all these skeletons from? Oh, they come from India. Oh. India? International Treaty. All skeletons come from India. What? Where do they get all the skeletons with perfect teeth? I'm gonna ask you a serious question. How many people you know die with a beautiful, perfect set of choppers in their puss, huh? I've never heard anybody refer to the mouth as... <laughs> I couldn't even finish that sentence. Maybe it was 80s slang. These are split dogs. Wow. Ew. Yeah, veterinarian schools. Small okay, animals. so they have all sorts of like different Okay, kinds of so things, it's yeah. like the things you dissect in school. Yeah. Over here, Freddy's, where we keep the fresh cadavers. Ah! Oh. Well, this is the perfect place for a zombie outbreak. Yeah, I couldn't do this type of job. Mm -mm. Not gonna lie. Oh my god. They store their items very strangely. Any <laughs> bodies are in your usual? Well, you know, you don't want to be overstocked. I like the restaurant business. You don't want your inventory to lose its freshness. Such a weird way to talk. You sound like a cannibal. I like death. I like death with sex. How about you, Casey? You like sex with death? <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Casey? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Did you see that movie, Night of the Living Dead? Meta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one where the corpses start eating the people, right? Did you know that movie was based on a true case? Oh. That's not possible. I mean, they showed zombies taking over the world. <laughs> How do you know it's a true story? What really happened was there was a chemical spill. And Whoa! All that stuff kind of leaked down into the morgue. Four or five trioxin, it's called. And they told the guy who made the movie. George Romero. He told the true story. They just soup his ass off something. <laughs> <laughs> Lore! So what really happened? Like y'all are gonna get your hands on that chemical, or the bodies. Was it like trioxin or whatever? Two, four, five. The transportation department got the order. And it came crossed. here. Can you get bodies? They ship those bodies here. You're terrifying to me. <laughs> You're a scary person. Wanna see them? Do you still have them? Corpses. Like the, the Night of the Living Dead ones? No way. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. Why does he seem like a serial killer? <laughs> And they just brought those bodies here and left them? Well, you know the army. And they've been here all this time? 14 years, as I recall. 14 years and you didn't do anything about it? Okay. So they weren't just in, like, hanging. Department of the army. <laughs> okay. Department of the army? Oh, wait. Property of... Wait, okay. I don't know, actually. I've read it. I can't read. <laughs> ah! Sorry. That was loud. Ah! Oh, shit. Look at that. See, that thing was alive? So they say. Is it still? Don't clean its window. Ew, you just you the whole that? fucking roll? That was the scariest thing in the movie. What a waste. It's a paper towel. Who does shit like that? That was terrifying. Oh, my. Why would you hit that? This is what you get for wiping like that with the paper towel. <laughs> oh, dang. Well, they're. Ew. The return- okay, so like, Night of the Living Dead, Return of the Living Dead. Yeah, so they're how, coming back. How did they not get sued making this movie? Well, actually, I think I told you this before, Night of the Living Dead, there was something that happened to it, like, where he lost the rights, and they went to the point where anyone could make a Night of the Living Dead film. Like, oh. nobody owns the rights to Night of the Living Dead. Oh, well, that's kind of unfortunate for him. It very much so was. Oh, he, he, he was a pioneer. A genre pioneer. John, uh, John? <laughs> George Romero. Yeah. I was a big stand back in the day when I was a child. I really love zombie movies. I still do, but you Casey. You still do. It's hard to convince her to watch anything well, spooky sometimes. Zombie is like, if you get a cool zombie movie, it's like cool, but sometimes mm. you just watch zombie movies that are just very like, okay, I've seen this before mm. like 10 million times. You know? Like what can they do different? You right. know? Like I like when they do stuff different. <gasps> Look at the body. That was oh no, they're making all the bodies. Watch the skeletons be like. Oh, remember <laughs> the skeletons. The half dogs, too. Get him in on this. If it happened in a bakery, it could be Night of the Living Bread. Who thinks of this stuff? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> like, it's not gonna bring bread back to life. How was your day? The usual. Crap. Oh, I'm sorry. What's for dinner? Your Salad. Lamb chops. Oh. I had them for lunch. Whoa. Okay, mm. Mr. Fancy Pants. Yeah, fucking ungrateful ass. I know, some people don't have food. That's Casey hates leftovers. But they were fresh <laughs> lamb chops. They have to be able to reach me 24 hours a day, wherever I am. You know that. All that microwave stuff affects my oven. When will you find them? Christ, Ethel, I don't know. Oh my gosh! Oh, are they still talking about, like, the, the 14 yeah. years? Yeah! They, they've been doing this for 14 years! Be nice to Ethel. I like her dress. Through all this before, they could be anywhere. I feel like you could have easily looked harder and found them. Mm -hmm. Like, what? Okay, let's think. Where could this have possibly got mixed up in the mail and gone to? <laughs> Let me think. A place that literally sells dead bodies? I'm gonna ask my mom if this was how she was in high school in the 80s. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> You know what's funny about their aesthetic? It reminds me of like in Back to the Future when they go into the future, but they still have yeah. that 80s like aesthetic as well. I've been calling that vintage futurism. Mm, okay, maybe that'll It's a catch phrase on. I talked about in Robocop. I don't know if other people say that, but I have said it and we should all start saying it. <laughs> Damn, this is like cemetery. This looks like an abandoned cemetery. It does, yeah. Where's the groundskeeper? That road flares ass white. What do you want with those? I just want to party. <laughs> <laughs> There's never any Casey's in movies, and this is the one we get. <laughs> this is your Casey representation. <laughs> oh, I thought they died. <clears throat> what knocked them out? Just the steam? The gas that came oh, out okay. of there? The trioxin, whatever. I don't know, I don't, I don't feel so good. <clears throat> Because you breathed in dead, alive body. Uh, where's the body? What the hell happened to the body? Of course, it got up and walked away. It's a zombie. Oh, the goddamn thing. This is why you don't keep things that don't belong to you for 14 years. You would think, Nobody thought like, to call the military. Like, um, this military of bodies got delivered <laughs> to us. We should probably call them. I don't think it's the military of bodies, but the bodies had the property. The military's bodies. Okay. I feel like this movie all boils down to user error. Somebody messed up the shipment and then y'all didn't return it. <laughs> didn't return property. You're not supposed to open mail that doesn't belong to you. It makes us look stupid or something. I can still smell that stuff. Oh my gosh, Split Dog! Ew, I'm gonna see it. Dog. dog. Oh, that's hurting my feelings. Listen, listen. Didn't I say the dogs earlier too? Gosh. Oh my gosh! It's little and cute! It's gonna be Split! 
Are we here? Sam, what are we gonna do? Lock it in, yeah. <laughs> he has horrible solutions to everything. <laughs> everything and anything got brought brought to black black black, black to life. <laughs> brought back to life. No, it's that crap from the tanks. That goddamn chemicals. It's all over everything. Stupid asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you like this job? Like this Fuck this oh my job. God. And you're a horrible boss. Do you ever wonder about all the different Casey ways Casey is crazy. Dying, you know, violently. Are you okay? Like, what's going on She's with you? She's like getting the hot and bothered from this. To die. Try not to think about dying too much. The worst way <laughs> would be for a bunch of old men to get around me and start biting. Oh well. And eating me alive. Well, that's gonna happen to you probably. You're Perfect. wishing it into existence. So you're in luck. Oh my, oh my gosh. What the heck? Taking off her clothes again. Her name's again? Trash. She's not Casey. Oh. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> her name's Trash. She's Trash. I'm Trash. Like in that <laughs> one Toy Story. Toy Story, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the spork. I'm Trash. How do you kill something that's already dead? Well, how do I know, Fred? I don't know. Let me think. It's not a bad question, well, Bert. How do they do it in Night of the Living Dead? They destroyed the brain to kill him. Is that what they Oh, the see, there you go. Right. Yeah. It's always the brain. What do doctors use to crack skulls with? Surgical drills. Here, hold it, Frank. Oh, ice pick. Listen to me, both oh. very ice pick? <laughs> I don't and know. ice pick? We don't get snow that often here. I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> ah! No, he went right for you! Oh my gosh. Well, that did not work out the way you planned. Oh my, he like immediately ignored everybody else. Doesn't look like a stereotypical zombie. He was a fresh cadaver. Mm. Ah! Oh, it screamed. I mean, that was the brain. It does it feel pain? Cause that is awful if it does. Oh my God, this is like making me sad. For the zombies? Yes. They like died twice! <laughs> one in a terrible, awful way. Which one is the awful way? The first way or this way? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, look! <laughs> it was the goop more than anything. Right, it ain't dying! I thought you said if we destroyed the brain, it'd die. It worked in the movie! What an educated <laughs> guess. In the movie lied! <laughs> the movie lied? I thought y'all established that it was a fake. Or based on events. That is How wild. Are we gonna kill it? Maybe Burn it? Kill it? Maybe it won't die. How do you kill what's already dead? Destroy it completely until there's nothing left. Acid. What kind of acid will dissolve a body, though? Ask Walter White. Nobody understands me. You know what? what? I mean? <laughs> He's I definitely in his emo face. Guys, what do I get? You're spooky. You're spooky. <laughs> I mean, I got something to say, you know. What do you think this is all about? You think this is a fucking costume? This is a way of life. Oh. <laughs> They don't understand it, me. It's not a phase. Mom. I'm gonna need some help, Ernie, in a pretty big way, really. You can depend on me, what? what's wrong? You gotta get rid of a body. I gotta, yeah. Do you wanna tell him first? Oh, what I forgot the they cut him into pieces. Uh, what the hell are you doing a bunch of rabid weeds? Oh, trying to explain to you, Ernie, you know, they came Is this like a better way to explain <laughs> to somebody? To be rabid, you know. I give him credit for like, you know. <laughs> Thinking outside the box. I know. All an animal shelter. Well, we're we're gonna, get out of here. We need to burn him alive? <laughs> is what he's gonna look okay, at, maybe. Guys, take him to the pound. Well, I just can't do that. You gotta you gotta take my word for it. This is like so sus. I, I would not believe you. Our friendship is over. Don't ask me this type of shit. At this point, I don't know. No, no, you, you gotta swear. You got maybe to, you shouldn't have started off with lies then. Mm-hmm. It's not weasels in the bags. Oh! Get it off! <laughs> <laughs> What do you even say? Still animated. The way I see it, this is a pretty big thing. Where are you going? Whatever it is you want. So help me, I'll, I'll do it, I promise. Within reason. All right, let's take care of your problem. Okay. 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 I guess to be named later. Just a favor for the future. 
Like, I would owe you the law of surprise. Hardest thing to burn is the heart. I wonder if that's true. I don't feel like that's not true. An alternative hotter for the heart. What about the split dogs? They gotta go. Their split dogs will go too. What about the butterflies? Everything. Oh, fuck. Oh, crap. All the chemicals are going into the air. I forgot that's. Oh, we didn't even think this through thoroughly. I know it's funny. Like, it's been so long. I was waiting, you know? Like for something just gonna more. Burn it and be done with it. This is why you should have called the army. Chemicals at a storm, now it's acid rain! There's zombie rain. Well, maybe if you would have taken off your clothes. Oh gosh, all the, the bodies! Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the We're bodies like, let hit the, the floor. Let the bodies come out of the ground. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm really sick. From the chemical. What? What's wrong? Gosh, are they gonna turn? I feel like hell is what's wrong. This car ain't going nowhere! Damn it. Shh. Do you hear something? You hear something, something, something. What's in your head? In your head. If it was in a bakery, they would say, What's in, in your, your bread? bread. You're missing the freaking resurrection. I'm sorry. <laughs> what the hell? Freddy, are Don't you go here? down there. <sighs> I would not just want to walk into a basement by myself. The third step. You didn't mind the third step. I, the, 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 yeah. See that handprint? That came from the inside. Who's there? It's gonna be the. Ew! It's goopy! <laughs> Step, you're supposed Crap. to mind it. Oh, it's so scary. My brain, you're a zombie of exquisite taste. You like your brain fresh. <laughs> it's funny because I think that this movie and this franchise is like the franchise that did like the brains, oh. you know, thing. It wasn't just like, you know, yeah. zombies would just eat you normally. Right. But Return of the Living Dead, it's like brains. Brains in particular. And now that's what everybody's like, oh, brains. Yeah, but that's where they, this is where it comes from. Well, look at that. Making <laughs> history. 40 Witnessing years ago. <laughs> now, very late. And look at the Witness. zombie using like deductive reasoning on how to open this wow, door. Wow, this zombie. Not only does it eat brains, it has brains. <laughs> Dang, it just went straight through the skull and everything. Oh no! <laughs> Suicide! <laughs> oh, how can you speak? I like gloss over the fact that a <laughs> naked girl's ass? <laughs> like it literally can talk. Can you reason? I mean, he opened the door, he used the chains can you, to open like, the door. Can we like, hey, <laughs> let's really talk about this. Like, do you really want brains? Let's take some vital signs. <laughs> you would think they would have rushed him to the hospital. Can I buy your stethoscope? What's better? I can't hear anything through mine. Well, are you sure <gasps> it's the equipment? Is he already dead? Well, I'm not getting anything on this either. Are they dead alive? What What's wrong? What's wrong? Dead alive? Dead alive. They're like the literal living dead. No blood pressure, no pulse. What do you mean, no blood pressure, no pulse? Shh. Room temperature. You're on room temperature. You're like ambient water. <laughs> what are you guys saying? What are you guys saying? You're fucking dead, bro. <laughs> oh, what the fuck was that? Oh gosh, coming to the cemetery was the worst possible idea. From 1891, that's that an old one. That is just a skeleton. <laughs> Wait, how, how are your eyes still there? How this? How is this skeleton doing it, but not the skeletons back at the other one? I don't know. Plot hole, right? You have no nothing. <laughs> I hope Trash dies so I don't have to worry about blurring her. <laughs> hey, let your fantasy! You <laughs> Be careful what you wish for, Trash. Your blood pressure is zero over zero. You have no pupillar <laughs> response, no reflexes. Your temperature is 70 degrees. You're literally dead. Because technically, you're not alive. Except you're conscious, so we don't know what it means. <laughs> you saying we're dead? Well, let's not jump to conclusions. Are you saying we're dead? <laughs> let's not jump to conclusions. Dead people don't move around and talk. Well. Oh, they're about to outside. 
<laughs> oh wait, these aren't the dead. These are the kids. Oh. These are the punks. I love how this mortician is strapped. <laughs> are you crazy? Are you on PCP? <laughs> PCP? What is that? Work your magic paramedics. Like this is what you studied for. <laughs> <laughs> Your entire career just came down to this. This is the ultimate test. You got a drug for that? Ah! <laughs> oh my god! I, that gave me a jump scare! What the heck? I thought it was him! This is like oh fresh. Oh my goodness. Close the door behind you! Hello! Oh. Freddy's Ew, don't him. kiss him! Freddy's dead. God, Freddy, what did they do to you? Just like get in the car and close all the doors. Ah! Oh my gosh! Oh shit! Oh fuck! <laughs> Paramedics are dead. And we we can't take the car. We uh Bert, we've got Just keep calling back up. Yeah. I and get away from them, because they're dead. Just in case. What's the matter? Dead. Oh, the phone's dead. Is it stored? Oh my gosh. Ah! Make sure literally everything is locked. Bro, why are you wasting your bullets? And your, like, busted windows more. Look at this shit! Put bars outside the glass. <laughs> <laughs> you still hit it! But they can't get through the bars though, right? I mean, you would hope. You're breaking the glass, just let oh, them do it. Oh no. Oh my gosh, this is devoured. Come in this What? Oh my god, did it get smart because it ate brains? What the <laughs> heck? They're like scheming. <laughs> this is the type of zombie apocalypse that people would not survive. Yeah, when not they're when, smart. Yeah, when they're thinking. It used to be the conversation like, oh, can you survive a zombie apocalypse? And everyone would always say like, okay, if they were walking, yes, the yeah. runners. It's that's like, a, are we talking Train to Busan zombies? Or? That's a conversation. <laughs> but like, Return of the Living Dead zombies, you can't even kill them with their brains, you know? I breathed it, Tina. So did, so did Frank there. What did it do to you, Frank? This? Like, do you not see it? My <laughs> stiffening up. Stiffening up? For your Mortison. Or Rick and Mortis. Mortis. <laughs> Mortison? <laughs> Mortison sounds like a name. Yeah. <laughs> Rick and Mortison. You know, it, it looks like uh, Rick and Mortis is setting Hey, but you said you can loosen it by, like, stretching or something. God. You're dead. <laughs> You're dead, man, and you got to turn into one of those Perfect. things out there. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Did you hear that? No, They're just yeah. going in to get Eaten. slaughtered. I know. Nobody can even warn them. Ambulance. These damn scheming zombies. Look, they disappeared too. They're waiting. I know. Gosh, they're like, this is a perfect plan. Yeah, they're playing possum. Oh, they're they're gonna run out. I mean, they see the body right there. Don't go over there. Hitting their hands is like, <laughs> 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 a little hand. <laughs> little oh my gosh! Oh no, oh, they got him. No. Just throw him out the window at this point. Oh, ah. Ew, oh my goodness! <laughs> Damn it, now you got two of them in here. <laughs> throw it out! <laughs> throw them out. Might as well just put him in the burn thing. What do you call it? I know, burn him now, yeah. Cremate them. Look at it. She uh, looks better. Better. What? She looks better? What does that mean? Like eating brains makes them chill? I don't understand. Well, I don't understand what you want with it, honey. Eh? I mean, what are we doing with it? I want to examine it. You can hear me. Yes. Oh my goodness! Why do you eat people? Not people. Brains. Stop moving your spine. Why? The pain. Of death? 
Or like I'm being in half. Pain of being dead. And so brains helps. It makes the pain go away. Mm. Oh, and makes you talk. This was like the clones on Camino. They oh, it's trash. Oh. <laughs> It's just trash. I'm trash. I'm trash. Why did she came up so like? Majestically, I know, right? Like, I still have my feminine wilds. <laughs> Not the homeless man. Trash is gonna get him. He's already suffered enough. Gosh. They're like, you know what? How much nudity can we put in this? Big ass, like, mosaic right here. Mosaic. I'm gonna put a trash can. <laughs> <laughs> How were they able to board up the whole chapel? Like, their hands were, like, coming through this. I'm not leaving Freddy! <laughs> we gotta lock the door, you know that. You're gonna need to leave Freddy. I'm staying. You know what's funny about this movie? Who's the main character? Like, who are, who do you feel like is the main character, you know? I don't think there is one. Which is interesting, right? Dispatch, dispatch. <gasps> Cops. The police we're at the are going to get eight. I like how they put, like, little bags on their hats. <laughs> for the rain. <laughs> the rest of you gets wet though. Like what is? What but you like, can't wash the hat. Oh, okay. It'll get messed up. You know? <laughs> oh, Jesus. I thought they would have eaten all the brains. Right they look like cherry pudding. I mean, for them it is cherry pudding. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> like, we like cops' brains now. If I'm ever like that, don't sob over my body. <laughs> like, run. No, <laughs> I can finally see one thing. Brain. And one thing only really, that can leave this world suffering. Live. Brain! Oh, she pushed him off! And he's a fresh one, too. Why Damn. brains in particular? There you go. <laughs> Get out of there! Like, run! Don't just stand and scream! Run! What the fuck? He just like dipped. Ew. That was foamy. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. You wasted all of it. <laughs> Freddy was already dead. <laughs> Freddy's been dead. Freddy got himself when he started this. <laughs> like, get this shit together. Brains, brains, you guys got brains, greedy. <laughs> wow. So scary about this, like I mean, it's not scary in this situation, but it's like they can't die, you know. Yeah. So if you were in the situation, there's like no way, like like you can't just freaking hit their heads, cremate or... them, you know, all of them. You need to get like right up to the. I feel like they should have came at an angle, you know. I mean... That's there's no way they can get in. <gasps> like leave them. I mean, go get help. Okay, yeah, you're right. I guess that's honestly the best yeah! solution. They had to. Oh, he gets it. What are we gonna do now? Find a phone, call the cops. What the fuck? Oh, oh my gosh. gosh! Keep driving. Dang. Y'all should just like get out of this general vicinity. No. <laughs> They lost their transportation. They all they did is make it across the street. Hey, where is everybody? Go call the number on the barrel. Yeah, exactly. But you, there's that one zombie down there. And they didn't have Google to just Google army number. <laughs> Not that that would work. The army phone number, the general army phone number. You think number? that's on Google? I'm curious. But I'm saying they would have a does specific the army have number, a number on the barrel for a specific person. Yeah, it does because you just look up army phone number. Look at that. You can call the army toll free <laughs> at 888-271-ARMY. Who answers the army? Hello, this is the army. Oh, is he? Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, his wife. He was like, I'm going to get off in like an hour. Oh, well, this is why you don't play with fire because you're going to get burned. I don't know if this is considered a suicide though, because you're already dead. I mean, it's also kind of a noble act because you're yeah. keeping other people from getting killed because of you. Damn. Oh my god. 
for you. Oh my goodness, that is dark. That's not like how in most zombie films there's always that one person who hides the fucking right. bite. They like hide it. Got the helicopter in the bottom. All could have been avoided. Oh shit, it's a trap! Oh my gosh, they think, they scheme, they- <laughs> These fuckers do their ambushes! <laughs> They're schemers, At least people fuckers. have figured it out. You know what's in the basement? What do you mean? One of those fucking corpses, man. A real ugly one, all black and slimy. <laughs> I don't give a shit what's in the basement. We gotta get to that phone, man. Blinding him seems to work okay, doesn't it? You got acid? Yeah. I forgive you, darling. <laughs> Oh my oh, gosh! Because I can smell your brain. I don't like how they're so conversational. <laughs> now you made me hurt myself again. Oh my gosh. You made me break my hand completely off. This is a toxic relationship. I know. Blaming you for him getting hurt. I don't care, darling. <laughs> because I love you. <laughs> the red flags. Eat your <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's like tweaking for a brain oh, fix. No. This is like an addict. I'll do anything for brains. <laughs> so goopy! The OG zombie. Oh, oh shit! Oh, Damn! Slimy! They hit Casey with the head. <laughs> that dude just has a hammer. Get a longer weapon, you know? Yeah. You can, Something uh, that has like some reach. You don't want to get that close in this type of situation. Especially not when like the brain doesn't kill them, you know? Okay, let's call this number. We already told him the number. There's a phone right here? How what? did you? <laughs> you had 14 years and you put it right by the fucking phone? <laughs> there was a phone right there the whole- I was like, okay, they're gonna have to write it down. Go back up. Well, there goes. The oh my Brent! god! He looks like He looks like Pennywise! <laughs> what are you doing? Call like the phone you think, number! Casey? <laughs> she doesn't spell it like how I spell it. Casey with a K. I'm calling the number stenciled on the side of the tank. Your name, please. Stay on the line, Mr. Wilson. You're being transferred. Finally! Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm waiting. 14 years yes, in Azkaban. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very well. Ethel, now is not the time. I know, this is what I've been waiting for. I can stop being a shitty husband. Uh, Mr. Wilson, where are you calling from? Been here this whole time. And we waited to like literally have this chaos ensue for me to call you. Why didn't you call his number immediately? Exactly! <laughs> 14 fucking years ago! It's understandable. Well, no, it's not! He's happened. like all action. <laughs> There's dead bodies! In tubes, in canisters that got sent to you. It is not. He's just so like. So, uh, let's what get did it you done. do then? <laughs> we literally started a zombie apocalypse. There's this naked one named Trash. <laughs> and how many acres does this cemetery? Cover? Love it. Well, they're at least finally telling the truth. See, the truth will set you free. Moral of this whole movie is don't lie. You really simplified it right there. Don't lie and don't take property that's not yours. Don't steal. Something was sent to you by accident. Why is he wearing PJs with a robe? That's the real. Question. That's the drip. Looks like we found that lost consignment of Easter eggs. Easter eggs. Well, sir, it would be good news, except that the eggs have hatched. I mean, waiting for this to happen, apparently they got some sort of uh, contingency plan to deal with it, huh? Oh. Are they gonna bomb them? Sergeant Jefferson, 40 seconds. They're gonna bomb artillery. them or something. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh. Yes, sir. They're gonna right, bomb sir. them! Whatever you say, sir. The That's their actually, contingency. Sir. They were like, you know what, we lost it, so if it ever becomes a problem, we know how to deal with it. The eggs have hatched. The eggs have hatched, and now we're making breakfast. <laughs> I spit <spent> again. <laughs> oh my god. If they hatch, how are you gonna make breakfast? You'd make it before they hatched. Kill the chicken. Then it's lunch. <laughs> Listen. They're dead. You hear anything? Now y'all are gonna be looking like dead. Nina. Oh, fresh. Oh, Louisville. I forget about the time. Sir. Well, sir, only 20 square blocks. Of oh, okay, so not the whole city. <laughs> oh, well, that's the, great. We limited the collateral damage. Rain is taking care of that right now. Oh, the rain! <gasps> well, there have been complaints about burning. Oh no, they didn't take care of the, the problem. Rain the rain will wash everything away. The rain is literally the, the problem now, all because they did cremation. 
Yes, sir. I understand the president will visit Louisville tomorrow. <gasps> the president's gonna be no, zombie. Want that to happen, sir. <laughs> Who's president around this time? Reagan. Night of the Living Reagan. <laughs> hey, it's a skeleton. It's the same That's skeleton. The same one. They also showed a clip from earlier too. Yeah. You definitely see how this would have influenced so much zombie media. Like, especially more kind of the comical edge to zombie media, mm -hmm. like, in the future. For me, there was a lot that I had forgotten, but as, like, the story kept going, there were parts that I remember. For whatever reason, one of the most memorable parts in my childhood mind popping back up was Trash looking up at the sky naked as, like, they were about to get destroyed by a missile. I remembered that, but I was like, oh my gosh, this woman. I had completely forgotten that that was like a thing before she like, you know, was dancing on the graves and whatnot. And then I kind of remembered after the fact, oh yeah, she did turn into a zombie. Um, but yeah, I like this movie, but it does, it's funny, but it also poses the question, what would you do in this type of situation? I feel like that's what the, the scenario that everyone puts themselves into at some point in their lives how do I survive a zombie apocalypse? Mm. And I said it in this movie. Okay, are they running zombies? Yeah. Are they walking zombies? Are they, are they sentient zombies? Like these ones who are like plotting ambushes and whatnot. Yeah, that's crazy. I enjoyed it though, it was fun. I loved like just the whole 80s feel to it. Obviously it was from the 80s, but mm -hmm. like it's cool to watch movies like that and just kind of like go back in time for a little bit. Also the whole brains things is pretty cool. Like yeah. this kind of was like the thing that made the whole brains and like at the end, like the whole bomb thing, I called it. But mm -hmm. uh, uh, as soon as they said contingency and artillery, I was like, oh gosh, yeah. they're taking them out. Cause how else would you, ha you can't do anything else. Mm -hmm. But then like, is this how it continues for the sequels because like, the rain was still going. Shh, I'm gonna stay quiet on that front. However, I will say, one of the elements about this movie that I also forgot was the fact that they tied it back, in a sense, to Night of the Living Dead and George A. Romero's yeah. Night of the Living Dead. I thought that was obviously very meta and mm -hmm. very cool, cool. Though, they kind of gave themselves an out as to why they didn't follow, let's call them George A. Romero's like, like, rules. rules for the Living yeah. Dead. Because, you know, they couldn't die. Like, right. You got to burn their bodies so that they couldn't freaking be animated and come at you. Yeah. So that was one element, too, that they kind of found an out to, like, yeah. kind of pay homage. Yeah. But then also, like, not fall into it because they said, like, the story was lied right. about. You know, it wasn't just, like, the, the way that it was reported in the movie because they would sue George A. Romero. Um, Which is also interesting because, like, at this time, it mm -hmm. wasn't that long after, like, George A. Romero's. I mean, this was the 80s. That came out in 69, honestly. What year did this one come out, though? Let me look it up real quick. But, here. like, compared to nowadays, though, like, you can make 85. a zombie about anything and, like, not feel like you're, like, oh, I have to... I mean, obviously, like, he came first, but yeah. like people don't think to reference him when they just like create zombie stuff yeah. typically. Like you're like, I can do whatever. Like I can make warm bodies. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people reference like The Walking Dead now just because right. that was more modern. But obviously all these like things came from George A. Romero. Which is and, a like, crazy concept zombie. to think about. Like, I mean, you think about like Mary Shelley mm -hmm. and Frankenstein or like Bram Stoker, Stoker and like Dracula. Like, you yeah. know, like kind of like pop culture, modern, literary, or like movie, these monsters, like they created them. That's like a pretty cool concept. So they were able to reference Night of the Living Dead. However, this came out after Dawn of the Dead, which came out, I believe in 78 or 79. Mm. So Night of the Living Dead came out in either 68 or 69. I think it was about 10 years later when Dawn of the Dead came out, mm. 78, 79, something like around that time. And then this may have actually came out after Day of the Dead. Hand me the keyboard. Huh. I think the, the Day of the Dead came out in the 80s as well. So but I guess it, may it have wasn't come out the as, same year. Like as close as I had thought. But. Yeah, but like I said, there was something I, I didn't learn. Day of the Dead, no, not November 1st. <gasps> Day of the Dead. Dia de los Muertos. Not that Day of the Dead. Gurdjieff Romero, 85. This came out the same year as Day of the Dead. So the end of, like, we'll call it the trilogy. Even though, like, oh. George A. Romero ended up making up making more movies after the fact. I think the next one came out in 2005, which was Land of the Dead, 20 years later, which is kind of crazy to think about. But I'm not sure exactly what was the situation with Night of the Living Dead. But I remember either reading about, hearing about, it's been a long time since I've done any research into it, about why nobody owns the rights to Night of the Living Dead. And people could just, like, play it. 
hmm. in syndication. Did he not like and get a copyright or something? I really don't remember. Or was it before? I don't know. If you know, drop it in the yeah. comments so I don't have to do the research. But I mean, I've done the research before, but as a kid, and I just I forgot what was the situation why like it was able to be like used in such capacity. I remember I told you Land of the Dead came out 20 years after the uh, Dawn of the Dead, not not Return of the Living Dead. There was an original trailer kind of like teased, okay, first there was the night, then yeah. there the night turned into dawn and yeah, the, the dawn turned that. into day. Mm -hmm. But that trailer, I'm pretty sure there was issues, copyright issues in that trailer because he used initially clips from Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, and Day of the Dead. But because they didn't have the rights to those, because I think it was a different studio, I think it was Universal who ended up making Land of the Dead, that they pretty much had those same titles pop up on the screen, but they used all clips of Night of the Living Dead in the second iteration of that trailer. Hmm. And as a kid, I was like really into this because I really loved zombies and I really loved George A. Romero. But yeah, it's kind of interesting to think back about it because I haven't thought about this type of stuff in like 15 years or so. So after like the original Night mm. of the Living Dead, did a lot of zombie media come up after that, like movies, or did people kind of like not touch it for a while? You know, there is a a movie, I'm pretty sure it's just called Zombie, that was, I think, an Italian movie that it almost, like this movie, I think was kind of left ambiguous whether it was like a quote unquote sequel mm -hmm. of that universe. You know, what is like the statute of limitations, you know, for making yeah. like kind of content in that type of same vein? Because, I mean, it was a yeah. different time. But, I mean, now there's, you know, vampire movies that are a dime right. a dozen, you know? Yeah, or everybody... And, like, you can make a zombie movie about, any, yeah. like I said, like, anything. Or, like, what else? I mean, I mean, like... Can you patent something like right, that? Right, you know? It's kind of an interesting concept. But then they also say, like, imitation is the best form of flattery. But, like, yeah. you also don't want to just, like, rip something off either. Well, I feel like we live in an interesting time, though. Because, I mean, it's so long after right like night of the living dead the first modern day iteration of a, a zombie because i'm pretty sure zombies were a thing but i think they were more associated with like voodoo and right. like bringing back the dead to be like almost servants not like the modern day zombie like yeah. i'm gonna eat you right. you know and like turn you into a zombie i'm pretty sure that was like what definition of a zombie was prior to george a romero i i know it's funny that i'm saying this but i'm pretty sure while we watched Young Frankenstein, some people said like, oh, Frankenstein's monster was the first original zombie. I don't know about that, but I, I mean- I think a lot of people say that was like the first kind of like real mm -hmm. sci-fi. But then you could also say like, you know, the undead, Dracula is that- Yeah. It, what, what are vampires right. in that Right, I whole feel like it's thing, just kind of like know? general, the monsters, you Were, know, like the monsters. I feel like I need to watch like an interview from George A. Romero and like yeah. kind of see like what sparked your idea of a zombie. Like, I'm gonna make that. And did, did you get inspiration from vampires? Because vampires were a thing prior to that, yeah. and they were, you know, feeding on living people. So I mean, that right. logically, in my head, without doing any sort of research, makes sense that you could take inspiration from that and kind of like flip it on yourself. Right. And like instead of blood, I'm gonna eat brain. Well, he well didn't I mean, do... Return of the Living Dead. Yeah, did they brains, did yeah. brains. He didn't even. So I guess that's how they separated themselves, and that's how like that whole brain trope started. Right. Which like zombies are such a massive part of like culture now. Yeah. Like you know, like oh, they're zombie. Everybody dresses up as like a zombie, or they're like oh, you're like a zombie, yeah. or whatever. I feel it's like interesting. The Walking Dead though was a big inspiration for at least modern times. Yeah, like the modern... Zombie, but also just like people's affinity for zombies. Like there's been a well, lot of also zombies. also like apocalyptic zombie, like yeah. zombie apocalypse, because a lot of these were kind of like breakout mm. zombies. I think it's cool when they, like somebody makes a movie about a zombie and like does something different or new. Mm -hmm. And it's like, ooh, that's like fun and different for the genre that we haven't seen yet. I feel like it's getting harder because yeah. like there's just, it's done Things so many times. Done. So it's like, okay, how do you flip it up, flip it on its head? I, I know. Let's make one where everybody's already a zombie and then they turn human. Isn't that warm bodies? Well, kind of, but like, right, they turn no, human. But like, everybody's a, like zombies normal. And zombies normal. Is the you get bit zombie. by another a human and, and then you, you turn, turn into a human. human. That's like a skit. <laughs> like, I don't know if that's a movie. That seems like a skit. <laughs> one of my most favorite zombie films in modern day and just in general, I'm very partial to Dawn of the Dead because I feel like that is just such a classic. The original Dawn of the Dead. Although Zack Snyder's 2004 remake 
is a very cool installment in and of itself. Train to Busan. Oh, so good. It's a Korean zombie film. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely check it out if you love zombies and you just like haven't seen it. What? Which I feel like if you if you love zombies, I feel like you should have stumbled upon You've it at some point it, in time. But if not, if not, check it out. That is so good. Like I remember watching that and I was like, okay, this is why like that little fear that like when I was young, like, oh my gosh, what if zombies became real? It kind of reinvoked all those feelings. Whereas I feel like a lot of people nowadays are like desensitized right. to it. Right, like, like, oh, it's a zombie, zombie apocalypse. Movie. But I remember being so obsessed with zombies when I was a kid that I was like thinking like on the, the bus drive to school, what would happen if a zombie apocalypse broke out right now? What would I do? And like even in school, I'd be like, okay, yeah. what am I gonna, I'm going to jump on my desk. I'm going to push up those little oh, panels like cute. in the classroom. Yeah. And like, that's cute. Oh, that's like oh, cute. cute. That's survival. Like, just, like you like love zombies so much. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like even though like my obsession with zombies as a child doesn't just make me the only person who's thought about this. I feel like a yeah. lot of people have thought, what am I going like, to do in a zombie apocalypse? Where would I go? Everyone wants to go to the mall. That's just like the trope from Dawn of the Dead, though. You know, you don't want to go to a mall. Yeah. First of all, how much food is in a fucking mall? Not enough right. to keep to sustain you for a long period of time. Grocery store. But, but then everybody's going to go to the grocery exactly. store. Exactly, yeah. No, you got to be a prepper. You got to have like an underground <laughs> yeah. base like Day of the Dead. And yeah. then you got like a good jumping off point for survival. All right, well, thank y'all so much for watching and hearing us talk about zombies. And we'll see you next time.